Ever wondered what happens to our bodies after we pass away? The journey begins with a process called autolysis, where self-digestion kicks in immediately after death. It's a natural and fascinating process where our bodies, in essence, start to decompose from the inside out. You see, when we're alive, our cells are in a constant state of activity, working tirelessly to maintain balance. However, when life ends, these cells don't receive the signal to stop. They continue working, but without the command and control from the brain, they start to break down the body's tissues. Now you might ask, what is autolysis exactly? Well, in simple terms, autolysis is the process whereby enzymes within cells start to digest their own components. It's like a ship's crew, left without a captain, starting to dismantle the vessel piece by piece. This process kicks off soon after death, as the body's temperature starts to drop, and oxygen levels plummet. Without oxygen, the cells can't produce energy, and as they weaken, their membranes become permeable. This allows digestive enzymes to escape from specialized compartments within the cells and start breaking down cellular components. This self-destruction might seem a little gruesome, but it's a vital part of the natural cycle of life and death. It sets the stage for the next actors in this grand play of decomposition, bacteria, insects, and other organisms, which further break down the remains. But here's where it gets really interesting. As the body breaks down, it returns nutrients to the soil, which are then used by plants and other organisms. It's a perfect example of the circle of life where death isn't an end but a transformation. But what does this have to do with our bodies becoming stones and irons? Well, as these nutrients mix with the soil, they can undergo a series of chemical reactions that can lead to mineralization, a process that can turn soft organic tissues into hard stone-like structures. But how does this seemingly ordinary decay lead to the formation of stones and irons. Now, let's break down the science behind it. As the body decomposes, minerals present in the soil can interact with the remains, creating a process known as mineralization. You see, the human body is a treasure trove of organic materials. After death, these materials begin to break down, setting the stage for an incredible transformation. The soil, rich in minerals like calcium and iron, seizes this opportunity to step in. These minerals latch onto the decomposing organic materials, slowly but surely replacing them. Think of it like a meticulous artist, gradually substituting the canvas's original colors with new ones. The calcium lends rigidity, iron provides strength, and other minerals add their unique traits, working together to form a stone-like structure. It's a complex, delicate process that happens at a microscopic level, unseen to the naked eye. This transformative journey can take years, with the gradual replacement of organic materials by minerals. We've seen instances where bones over time become so mineralized that they resemble stones. Archaeological finds have uncovered such marvels, preserving the essence of life in an unexpected form. One such example is the legendary Terracotta Army, a collection of sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. These figures were crafted from clay, but over centuries the bones of the craftsmen who created them have mineralized, mirroring the stone-like aspect of their creations. In another part of the world, in the wind-swept corners of the Gobi Desert, archaeologists have discovered dinosaur fossils so mineralized they've essentially become rocks. These prehistoric remnants offer a glimpse into the past, their organic material replaced with minerals, preserving them for millions of years. But it's not just about the passage of time. The transformation from decay to stone is influenced by an intriguing blend of factors. One of these is the soil's composition. Rich, mineral-laden soils, such as those found in limestone regions, can accelerate the process of mineralization. The remains buried in these soils can undergo a faster transformation, their organic material replaced with minerals in a matter of centuries, rather than millennia. Environmental conditions also play a crucial role. In regions with high humidity and frequent rainfall, the process can be expedited. The rainwater carrying dissolved minerals seeps into the ground, accelerating the mineralization process. Additionally, burial practices can influence this transformation. In some cultures, bodies are buried with items like jewelry or weapons made from metals that can catalyze the mineralization process. Over time, these objects can interact with the remains, speeding up the transformation. The timing of this process varies, influenced by factors like soil composition, environmental conditions, and burial practices. It's a delicate dance between nature and decay. Each mineralized remain is a testament to this beautiful interplay, a silent whisper from the past, forever preserved in stone. 
While this transformation is a natural occurrence, it's not a universal phenomenon. It depends on several factors, making each case a unique testament to the interconnectedness of life and the Earth. We've journeyed through autolysis, the self-digestion process that begins immediately after death, and explored the fascinating science of mineralization, where minerals in the soil interact with our remains over time, replacing organic material with calcium, iron, and other elements. This intricate dance between decay and the surrounding environment shapes the transformation, creating stone-like structures from what was once living tissue. Our exploration unveiled that timing and factors such as soil composition, environmental conditions and burial practices play pivotal roles. Each mineralized bone, each stone-like remain, is a unique story, a testament to the cycle of life and the enigmatic beauty of decay. Remember, nature holds countless secrets and even in decay there's a mesmerizing beauty. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more intriguing content and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring.